avid media composer, remains the NLE of choice for most major films and television shows. The typical avid workflow involves generating hero dailies with avid specific files from the camera originals with matching time code so editors can work more efficiently with lower resolution clips in an offline mode. After picture lock, they create a turnover for online by sending an EDL or AAF to a finishing application like DaVinci Resolve, where the offline dailies can be relinked to the original camera files. We're calling them OCF. This same workflow would apply with camera to cloud dailies through relinking, but now you don't have to wait for the camera originals in order to start the process. To work directly with the camera to cloud H.264 files, you will need to download all of your C2C proxies either through the web or the Frame.io transfer app. Here, I've set my transfer app to download to my Nexus drive and save it in the exact place I traditionally set up my Avid file structure. Once these assets are downloaded, I right click in an Avid bin where I want to import my media and click source browser. In this tool, I select link instead of import, point to my downloaded footage, select my clips or folder of clips and click link. You can also drag and drop your clips directly into a bin. If you hold option down while dragging and dropping, it will link to your clips instead of importing and converting them, which is Avid's default behavior. The biggest limitation of this workflow is that you cannot relink these AMA clips to OCF or Hero Dailies in Avid because the proxy start frames are different. So this workflow should only be used if you plan on a camera to cloud H.264 AMA proxy workflow. Now, AMA is not the same experience as working with Avid's preferred codec, DNX. So for DNX, we have two options. First, Avid can transcode AMA linked media to a compatible codec. To do that, highlight the clips you would like to transcode in that bin. Then right click on them and select Consolidate Transcode. In the Consolidate Transcode window, select Transcode at the top, then select the target drive for the transcodes. On the right, configure the settings based on your workflow. Make sure to select Keep Sources Frame Rate in order to avoid issues linking back to the new transcodes. We're going to select DNxHDLB as the target video resolution. Finally, you can select Application or Background Process to render in the foreground or the background. When you're ready, click Transcode to start the process. Once the clips have been transcoded, you'll need to relink the AMA clips to the newly transcoded files. Select the clips or sequence you want to relink in the bin, then right click, select relink. In the relink window, make sure to select the drive where the newly transcoded MXF media lives under the media on drive drop down menu. This will be the drive where your Avid Media Files MXF folder is. Next, uncheck relink only to media from current project. When you're set, click OK. The AMA clips in your bin should now be linked to the transcoded MXF files. Since the proxy files generated by Frame.io's C2C cloud devices have the same clip name and time code as the OCF, they can be edited in Avid and then conformed to the OCF via AAF or EDL. The second option for working with DNX is to create Avid optimized dailies through a dailies tool with Frame.io integration like Colorfront Express dailies or DaVinci Resolve, and then import those clips directly into Avid without having to transcode them inside of Avid. So essentially, your clips are then already optimized for Avid, and you can just edit as you normally would. This sounds like the best solution to me. When your cut is locked and you're ready to online, your sequence with clips that have matching timecode and metadata can be sent to your online tool of choice and relinked to the OCF. Easy, right?